Sadly, I didn't immediately talk about the Dr. Disrespect situation because it came out on Friday. And as some of you might know, uh, Elden Ring DLC came out on Friday. So I was kind of uh, distracted playing that and getting my, uh, my shins kicked and my ass beat by all these really difficult ass bosses. And people seeing people complain about the game being too hard and the DLC being too difficult because of how much damage that the enemies are doing. But you know, like that's besides the point. We're here to talk about the newest allegations made towards Dr. Disrespect and to give a little bit of backstory. What had happened a few years ago in... I forget when it happened. It was like... I think it was like four years ago in 2020. Dr. Disrespect, the content creator slash streamer, was streaming on Twitch and he had a deal by Twitch that he would stream there exclusively. And then randomly out of nowhere, he got banned and no one knew why. Not even Doc at the time knew why he got banned. Nobody could figure it out. The... Only thing that was really circling, circling around at the time was potential rumors about what may or may not have happened, but no one could figure it out. And since then, I think it's just been something that people just haven't really thought about for a long time, and no one has really been saying anything else about it. That was until a few days ago when former CPM explainer at Twitch, uh, Cody Connors, on his Twitter account tweeted, he got banned because he got caught se sexting a minor in the then existing Twitch Whispers product. He was was trying to meet up with her at TwitchCon, the powers that be could read in plain text, case close gang, no one made the wrong decision, fuck him and his boys. I saw this and it was actually really funny because I was playing the DLC for Elden Ring all day and I wasn't on Twitter at all, I was completely off the grid, just playing Elden Ring all day. I get off at the end of the day, I'm about to go to bed, I go on Twitter just to see what's going on, see Dr. Disrespect trending on Twitter, and I'm like, oh, well, what could he be trending for? I click on and he's being accused of being a pedo. And <laughs> I just, I was like, hold on a fucking second, what the hell is going on here? So shortly after Cody Connors had made his tweet, Slasher, who a few years ago when this was all breaking out, had even said himself that he was told by apparently credible sources that apparently he knew what happened and what had happened at the time, but he couldn't report on it, and since then he has reported on it. But he tweeted shortly after Cody Connors had made his tweet, about like maybe an hour or so later, saying, I didn't lie. And I think what's also strange here is that DJ Wheat, and also former employee at Twitch, also responded to slash's tweet saying respect so if anyone would know what actually happened it would be dj wheat and if he's replying to slasher after cody connor's tweet clearly something had to have happened or something but no proof was actually even said at all like cody connor's didn't tweet out any proof slasher doesn't have anything no one as far as i know is even actually saying anything at Twitch, and Twitch hasn't responded in any sort of way, nothing is actually going on, nothing is actually being said. I don't know what to make of this, right? I don't know what to make of what's actually even going on to begin with, because it just sort of seems like nothing is even actually happening, or nothing even happened to begin with whatsoever. After that happened, though, Jake Lucky, another reporter in the industry, started talking about the accusations. He made a, a quote tweet of Cody Connors' tweet, and then Dr. Disrespect actually replies to him saying, Jake, seriously, I get it. It's a hot topic, but this has been settled. No wrongdoing was acknowledged, and they paid out the whole contract. And that is true. Uh, the settlement was reached uh, when Dr. Disrespect had took Twitch to court. He was basically exonerated at that point because no one was found guilty and no one was found innocent. But the wording of this tweet that Dr. Disrespect makes, this is his first response that we're talking about, because he has since made another response. This response is so fucking weird, because the way that he says it, no wrongdoing was acknowledged. He could have just said, no wrongdoing had occurred, right? Or nothing bad actually happened, or the accusations aren't true. For whatever reason, he like skirts around the line and doesn't actually say what happened and yada yada yada, and he doesn't, he doesn't outright say that nothing happened happened whatsoever. And it was then afterwards, the next day, that he made another response saying, listen, I'm obviously tied to legal obligations from the settlement with Twitch, but I just need to say what I can since this is the fucking internet. I didn't do anything wrong. All this has been probed and settled, nothing illegal, no wrongdoing was found, and I was paid. Elden Ring Monday. And yeah, he's been stream streaming Elden Ring recently, but that's besides the point. So this was a much better response because he outright says that it had been probed and settled and nothing wrong actually happened. Yeah, I think this was a better response, but it's still just 
absolutely astounds me that people saw this former employee at Twitch and he just outright just says this out of nowhere on a fucking Friday when people are playing Elden Ring. And it's just, I'm sorry, I'm mentioning Elden Ring a lot. Um, he just outright says this on a random Friday night and just says that he got banned for sexting a minor. And it's like, what the hell was going on? Why was this never said any sooner? And I actually responded to another tweet from Comment Cop and they tweeted out, uh, so Twitch apparently had direct access to messages proving Dr. Disrespect sex sex sexted a minor and Slasher had access to credible sources to report on this story, but both failed to publicly alert anyone and remained silent for years. And I responded to that tweet, that was my exact thought. If it really did happen, why was it settled and he never su suffered any consequences? And then why did he never say anything? You can't just say something like this and have us believe it based off, trust me bro, alone. Like, and, and that's exactly my point. So, if something had actually happened, and they had the receipts to prove that he was actually sexting with a minor, and that he was trying to meet up with the minor in question at TwitchCon at that year, if they had these messages, why didn't they alert the authorities that this is, was actually happening so that way a proper investigation can be run on Dr. Disrespect so that way he could then eventually be thrown into fucking jail for being a PDF file? It's like, why didn't they do the due diligence at the time when these rumors and accusations were being made and alerted the proper authorities so that way they can do their due diligence and get this guy thrown in a fucking jail cell but that didn't happen for whatever reason it didn't happen and i don't really understand why twitch didn't do this it's very strange it's very weird coney connors uh yesterday i believe uh then made another series of tweets uh and i'm gonna go into it a little bit but it's kind of confusing because he kind of speaks in like a like a, in a, like a puzzle, you kind of had to try to figure out what it was that he was talking about. It kind of has to do with a lot of previous tweets that people had actually found from Cody Connors from years ago that make him look really, really bad, which I'll read in a second. So the, these series of tweets that he made after everything went down, those three tweets warrant admonishment, maybe more than three. The stands trying to dig up stuff have been so underwhelming that I presume they missed something. I apologize for it all because it's worth apologizing for. The subtext of the bit, again, shame worthy, is that you're the last person to not know that your information had been so normal, normalized, declawed in the circles that I ran in that could be reduced to illusion and entendre for everyone who has since said that's fucked i agree with you on friday night before you wrote it i should have agreed with you sooner i cannot take it back but i can stop it i never said i'm a perfect person i just hope this class grades on a curve that said i'm the least suit i've ever been guys lawyers work weekends i don't think they have a few things they just needed it to get to before they Circled back to this, I'm also a little irked at Jake, who is very clearly trying to split the difference between what he thinks is half of his potential audience, but also deserves to feel bad about things he flagged. He, I just do whatever, right? If you want to read the rest of the tweets, they'll be there on the screen if you want to read them. But just, I, I had to reread re this a couple of times and look in the comments of people trying to also figure this out because other people were also confused as to what he was talking about. And I found this response from someone and they said, my read is that I apologize for those tweets about my band and the ban. The ban reason was so widespread in my circles th that it became normalized and lost its meaning. So I joked around with it when I shouldn't have, wish I could take it back. And yeah, that has to do with the fact that there were a couple of tweets that a lot of people had found from uh, even just as recent as last year or even just last year. Uh, and it's basically just him promoting locations that have to do with his band because he is a performer with a band and he has a couple of tweets listen if all three dates sell out i'll tell you why he got banned and it has to do with some locations of him around th these places in the world of him where he's going to perform and why he got banned which must obviously have to do with the fact that it has to be around dr disrespect and then he has another tweet. Gamer friends, if you're on the East Coast, you should come out to one of these shows. Slasher is coming to the New York Day. That's a 500 person room and we're like 70% on pre-sale. I always act out around Rod. If this show sells out, I'll 100% explain why we banned him during the set. Which may not actually have to do with Dr. Disrespect, but it just it's just strange that this person, this individual, Cody Connors, and specifically tweeted it out like this because it also has to do with slasher and slasher was a person who apparently knew of the wrongdoings that were going on 
behind the scenes with Dr. Disrespect and, and, and a parent minor. And then another tweet where promoting his band and at the end it says, maybe I'll get so swept up in the spirit of the music that I'll blurt out why we banned him. And it's just, it's so weird. It completely, completely destroys his credibility about whether or not we can actually believe him or not. Whether or not we can actually trust him with his word. Not that I even trust his word to begin with because I just, I don't believe it, right? There is no proof right now from either Twitch themselves or Dr. Disrespect or anybody for that matter that proves that this even had occurred to begin with. And it honestly kind of disgusts me that everyone on Twitter or X just saw these allegations being made by this one sole individual who just so happened to work at Twitch however many years ago and just ran with this fucking story that apparently Dr. Disrespect is a PDF file. And I just, I don't understand how they just saw this one accusation and just wholeheartedly believed it. They went like guilty before innocent until uh, until now we're in a position where do we go innocent until proven guilty it's like they fully believed that he was guilty of the crimes being accused of him with nothing to actually show for it like nothing to actually prove that he did the things that are being accused of him it genuinely surprised me that these these basically baseless accusations are being made against dr disrespect i'm not even a fan i don't watch his streams i don't watch his videos I don't associate with the guy in any way whatsoever, either as a fan or as an individual. Obviously, he doesn't know who the fuck I am, but I'm not a fan of this person. Like, I'm, I'm not, I'm not really someone who finds Doctor Disrespect to be all that entertaining and funny in any way. I don't really like the character that he likes to portray. But still, right? I still think that if you're gonna make these accusations, you have to give something that proves your credibility and that proves. That, that proves what had happened actually occurred at some point in time, either through text messages or something, right? Something that actually proves that something like this actually happened. Because so far, there's nothing to go off of, right? There's nothing to go off of. There's nothing to believe. There's nothing to... There's nothing. There's just nothing. I, I, I don't know how else to emphasize that. There's literally nothing to go off of to believe any of this is true. But, however, I should say... Despite the fact that these are just allegations for, for the moment, right? And then nothing actually proves this. If it actually is proven later, right? If it is shown with actual evidence and proof that Dr. Disrespect did do the things that were being accused of him. If it's actually proved that he did the things that are being accused of him. Obviously, throw him in a jail. Throw him under the jail. Bury him, right? He doesn't deserve a platform. He doesn't deserve to be a creator. He doesn't deserve the position that he's, that he's in. If he actually committed these crimes but however so far nothing actually proves that and because nothing proves that the only thing that i can believe in right now is that he's innocent until proven otherwise and that's pretty much all i have to say about the situation i didn't want to talk about it because i was really waiting for potentially more info to come out or something to come out that proves this but nothing really proves that right now nothing actually supports any of the claims being made at the moment and because of that there's not really much else I can really say about the situation. If something comes out and actually does prove that whatever happened, happened, I'll make a video talking about it because obviously this one will be out and some people will be curious as to what I have to say. Sorry I waited a little too long to talk about it. I just wanted to play more Elden Ring because that's really the only thing I care about playing right now and really the only thing I want to focus all my time on right now. But I felt that maybe it was better that I ended up making this video so that way I can emphasize that we need to be innocent until proven guilty, right? We need to go with that and wait until something comes out. Anyways, that's besides the point. That's all I really have to say about the Dr. Dis disrespect situation and allegations. Uh, innocent until proven guilty. I'll say that until it ends up being proven otherwise. And that's pretty much it. If you liked the video, be sure to leave a like. And if you want to see more, please be sure to subscribe. Please turn on bell notifications so you don't miss another video. I'll see you guys. In the next one, I'm out. Peace.